Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to the Cloud Pilot. In today's video, I am excited to share my personal journey of successfully passing Google Cloud's Professional Workspace Administrator Certification. In this video, I'll be walking you through my preparation strategy, key topics to focus on, and my overall exam experience. So if you're aiming to ace this certification, stick around for some valuable insights. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on all things cloud. About the exam, the professional workspace administrator exam is designed to text your expertise in various aspects of managing and optimizing Google workspace services. The domains covered in the exam include Google workspace authorization and access, user, resource, and shared drive lifecycle management, Google Workspace service configuration and control, endpoint access management, organizational operations monitoring, and advancing Google Workspace adoption and collaboration. The exam cost is, again, $200 and has a duration of two hours. You'll be presented with around 50 questions to tackle within this time frame. Before we give into the details, let me give you a bit of context about myself. I've been immersed in the world of Google Cloud for the past two years. I previously had a role as a cloud infrastructure and a DevOps engineer where I had some experience managing Google Workspace. While I had a solid foundation in Google Cloud, I was relatively new to using Google Workspace as an administrator. Usually we all use Google Workspace like Google Docs, Lights and all that. But Google Workspace as an administrator is a total different experience. My experience as an end user helped to some extent, but there was still a learning curve to overcome. Let's talk about how I prepared for the exam. Since I lacked hands-on experience with the Google Workspace as an administrator, I turned to the Google Cloud Skills Boost platform. This provided me with the practical insights and the hands-on practice I needed. Here is a breakdown of my preparation strategy. Understanding the exam. I started by visiting the Google Cloud's Professional Workspace Administrator page to get an overview of the exam. And then the study guide. I delved into the exam guide to understand what are the contents that will be coming on the exam and I tried to learn it thoroughly. I also explored the official Google Cloud's platform documentation to get a clear grasp of each Google Workspace service and the official documentation. That is really crucial because I explored the official Google Workspace documentation and it gave me a clear grasp of each of these workspace service. Hands-on experience, I can't stress this enough because hands-on experience is sometimes really crucial because there are questions which is not just about theoretical knowledge but you need to know how to implement these concepts in real world scenarios. The actual exam experience was quite interesting. The questions were generally lighter compared to other Google Cloud certifications because this is workspace. Some were straightforward while others required a deep understanding of Google's workspace licenses. Topics like Google Vault posed some challenges but my comparison study of licenses helped me navigate these questions. It took me about an hour to answer all the questions and I spent additional 15 to 20 minutes reviewing my answers. After submitting, there was a sense of relief given the exam's unique nature for me. Let's talk about the key topics that uh, you should focus on for this exam. These areas came up frequently and are worth diving into. Google Cloud Directory Sync. This is a very important topic, so be sure to understand it thoroughly and then advanced user management, transfer drive files, and Google Vault. Another crucial topic with various subtopics like matter sharing, security investigation tool, security dashboard, and more. And then you also had data loss prevention, DLP, which is also on Google Cloud Platform. And then organizational structure. This one is so vital, so spend extra time on it if needed and then device enrollment and SSO setup. To help you along your journey, here are some of the resources that I found invaluable. Satish Vijay's awesome GCP repository, Google Workspace documentation, Cloud Skills Boost learning path, a practice questions on Google Professional Workspace Administrator exam page, Coursera course for Workspace Administrator exam, and Google Workspace YouTube channel. So once after my exam, it took a few days to get my certificate, which is here. 
and there you have it my experience and insights on how to successfully pass the google cloud's professional workspace administrator certification remember practical experience and a thorough understanding of key topics are your keys to success if i could do it so can you if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow tech enthusiast and of course subscribe to the cloud pilot for more exciting content on cloud until next time happy learning and best of luck on your certification journey